Hey, okay, so I'm half asleep. I've been up since like 2.30 in the morning stewing about some stuff that's really getting on my nerves. Okay, so we've been in this town, all well, myself, I've been here four years now. And I've never addressed this, but it's something that's bothering me because now we have some new neighbors. Um, I'm ha Like I said, I'm, excuse my appearance, my eyes are dark and everything because I'm tired, but... We live in a town where, because I'm white, the other white people in this town, when they have conversations with me, um, they refer to the local black people using the N-word. And because I'm white, they think that that's okay. And that I'm like game and down with it. And I'm not. And I sit there and for four years I've listened to these people talk. And I am disgusted every time I walk away. And yet I try to be friendly because I don't know. I, I just need to keep the peace with what we've got going on. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing this video is we featured a house in our, in our, um, one of our videos and it's the house next door that was falling apart next to our side property. And a biracial couple bought this house to fix it up for their family. And they have two small children about our kids age who are mixed race now one of the officers with the initials R dot K dot keeps accompanying the local dog catcher um, and picking on these people now they brought their dogs over to protect the property the first night that they had access to the property and the fences tore apart from people traveling in and out, dealing their drugs and what have you. And so they had put them on a chain um, the first night, which irritated the dogs because they were in a new environment on a chain until they could repair the fence. But they didn't want anybody to disturb what they had put in the backyard already. And, and they had started working on cleaning up the yard. So one of the neighbor ladies that lives a couple of doors down from us, um, which, I mean, we haven't exactly had any problems, but... She told us at one point she didn't want to be seen sitting on our front porch uh, talking to the gays. Um, anyway, she ha and, and she's kind of started some arguments with some people about rumors um, and untruths about us. But anyway, she called on them because the dogs were barking as they got to know our dogs. They were new to the neighborhood. So the first night they were there, they barked a little bit more because they were on a chain in an environment they didn't no, and they had new dogs they were interacting with and our dogs barked because they had new dogs in their neighborhood and even though they're our pack they also become a neighborhood pack and they warn each other so certain tones of barking happen to warn each dog sets off another one to say hey something strange is going on well this lady whose son happens to be involved with all the people we seem to have problems with um, she called on them um, because she didn't like the barking and the next day, we watched and our cameras caught this officer, R. K. Dot, and the local dog catcher go in their backyard the very next, uh, or that evening, the next evening, and inspect these dogs. And then somewhere along the line, and we need to go back and check our camera footage, they came and seized the dogs before the people got back. They just live a few blocks from, from the house. Um, we didn't see them seize the dogs, but we did see them go back there and check them out and we know which two it is. Well, they made them pay all kinds of fees and everything else after they did this. And then we went and talked to them and told them what we saw. And they said that these two, this officer and this dog catcher have been picking on them for like a year now. Now the dog catcher happens to be a Freemason um, and is in the thick of things down here. Anyway, they got their dogs back. So this neighbor comes up to them, apparently. This is the story coming from the people, which I've taken some time to get to know over the last week or so. The neighbor lady stops by and is mad because they have their dogs back and said, do you realize they're going to come back and seize your dogs? And then next time they're going to shoot and kill your dogs. So you shouldn't have brought them back. And it was me that called, apparently. That's what they, she told these people. Because I, ha I couldn't hear myself think. I had to turn on the washing machine and dryer just to turn out the noise of your dogs. Well, I'm sorry. She's got a dog herself. 
and she had the old sheriff that's already been taken down. She had his sign in her front yard, if that gives you an idea who she supports in this town. Anyway, it seems to be that they're picking on this biracial family. And then they pick on anybody who's different here. They pick on us being lesbians. Now they're picking on them because they're biracial. And the lady basically threatened with having her dogs killed because she brought them back home, these, this couple. But they told us for about a year they've picked on them trying to get their little pups. And they're like, now they're about six months old. They must have gotten the first set of dogs, if I remember her story. But um, we faced our cameras towards their house and we're watching their house for them. We don't like what we're seeing. We don't like... This same officer let the ex-husband of Misty drive around with expired plates from Arizona for three years driving drunk. No tags, no local nothing. Um, tail lights out, drunk driving, you name it, let him get away with it. The minute we got in that truck one night, uh, three or four years ago when we were sick to get a ride before we got a car, he was waiting around the corner, pulled us over and gave us every ticket that her ex-husband should have had. And we ended up having to go to court and we paid hundreds of dollars in tickets on the ex-husband when he should, he drove around for years and these people never touched him at all. So they're, they gang up on people when they decide that, you know, you're in their way of whatever it is that they want to do and accomplish. But I can't believe after what's gone on in this town and how many people are missing that this particular officer is still on with the job. You know, to me, our experience, you know, he came in here and downplayed the break-ins here, you know, siding with the ex, blah, blah, blah. Um, he wouldn't acknowledge the break-ins and just made it look like we were being stupid with it. I don't know how he's still on the force. He's tied in with all the people that we know when we tie him in to be drunks, druggies, and the local drug dealers. And yet there he sits on the force. Now... I'm disgusted because yet yeah, here goes another family, but we're going to help them. And we've pointed our cameras at their house to keep an eye on for them. Now I did tell them if they go out and buy a, a system, I'll come and install their cameras for them. In the meantime, we're going to have our cameras recording that house. Anything that goes on is going to be caught on recording. Um, I've, I've talked to these kids. I've talked to the, the parents. They're very nice people that we can see so far. We don't know the history on them. I don't know who they've been involved with in the past. They seem like they're really trying hard to fix up this place. And it's a house that was falling apart. So give them kudos for buying a house and renovating it and trying to help clean up the town a little bit. Again, I don't know the history of this family. I don't know if they've had problems or not with law. I know what I've met of them so far. They seem to be hardworking, decent people that had a rough past and been picked on a bit. So I'm posting this video half asleep. Didn't sleep much last night. I'm not good on camera. I don't like having my picture taken, but here I am doing this because I feel strongly about it. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty frustrated. You know, I've, I've put up with these white people around here. I don't have a prejudice bone in my body. I love everybody. And I'm going to help anybody I can. It doesn't matter race, doesn't matter gender, it doesn't matter sexuality, it doesn't matter anything. If somebody's being wronged, I'll do my best to do my part to help. This is wrong. And, you know, if I don't know some history about this family, well then that's, you know, for me to figure out right now, as I know so far, this just happens to be a family who's had it rough and been picked on in this town. And until I know different, I'm going to keep my eyes open. But just know they threatened to kill her dogs. This, this lady and her husband's dogs. They've got two small children. And they aren't doing anything wrong. Their dogs don't bother anybody any more than any of the other dogs do. So... I don't know. I, I, there's more I want to say. I'm just being careful uh, not to say too much. Sorry for not majorly staring at the camera. I'm just uncomfortable with it. I don't like being on camera. But I just think it's important to get this out.
This, this, this town needs to be fixed. It's getting out of control even worse than it was. It seems like they're grasping. I know I'll watch my street. I know the two of us families are banding together and we're going to keep an eye on our block. We've already made a pact for now until something else comes out. But these two people, these two officers are abusing their power. And they're making people spend money when they don't need to, especially during these times when I know she's out of work because she can't, you know, they shut it down from this coronavirus thing. So she's out of work, but they're going to make them spend money when everybody's just going to struggle to feed animals and feed themselves and, and to make them pay money for the dogs to go get them out of what I call hawk. There's plenty of other problems in this town to be picking on these two people. And uh, the more p families that band together, we're going to stop this. I just, I, I just had to say something. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.